all through the life of Jesus, he was completely obedient to the will of God and he always tried to do the will of God. And we all called to do the will of God. Dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, we are in the Tuesday of the fifth week of Lent. And today we reflect on the Gospel of John chapter 8, verses 21 to 30. And Jesus speaking that he is from above and you are from below. If you are not believing that I am, you will die in your own sins. And Jesus said, I came to do the will of my Father. I am not doing anything of my own. Yes, my dear friends, Jesus came to this world to show us how to be obedient to the will of his Father, how to do the will of Father. All through the life of Jesus, he was completely obedient to the will of God and he always tried to do the will of God. And we all called to do the will of God. Believe in God and obey his commandments and do his will. What is the will of God in our lives? To know him, to love him and to serve him. How we know him? If you want to know somebody, we are to spend time with him. So God invites us to spend time with him in prayer in Bible reading, in meditations. So different ways when we spend time with Him, we come to know Him through the Spirit. When He know Him, we are able to love Him. When we love Him, we are able to serve Him. That's what Jesus did. He spent time in prayer, in the morning, in the evening, in the mountains, in the plains. He spent time with His Father. And he always do the will of his Father. And today, Jesus invites us to do the will of God the Father. So during this time of Lent, we try to avoid what all that is taking us away from the will of God and helping us to seek and do the will of God in our day-to-day -day life. So my dear friends, as we approaching the Easter where Jesus completely gave himself, even his own life, to do the will of Father. Let us also ask the grace of God to do the will of God through our own lives, in our own life situations. Amen.